What is up, Sagittarius? Welcome to your general timeless reading. These are general. So take what resonates, leave the rest, and they're timeless. So whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you. And this is for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. Um, if you want a personal reading or Reiki session, book it down below through my website and description box. I'm going to be using Spellcasters and Tarot Royale today. So if you want either of the tarot decks that I'm using, they are listed down below. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. Three of Cups and the Queen of Swords and the Five of Cups. As for getting over old ways, which is nice. Three of Cups is a reconciliation energy. Five of Cups is uh, a mourning card for me. It's an energy of release. It's an energy of no longer being upset over the things that don't serve you. And the Queen of Swords here, it, it actually feels more so like a listening energy because her sword is down. Um, it's not so much of... I don't feel like you're taking the lead on this conversation. I actually feel like you're being approached with this conversation. I feel like it's more observant. That's the word I was looking for, observant. Then we have the Magician, Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Chariot. Yeah, you're very in your power, but it's like this guarded energy. Like, I'm not sure if I want to move in this direction with this individual yet. We have the Hermit. Yeah, it's a very, like, isolated, let me think about it. I like it, though. I like it. Okay. Let's clarify. Let's look at the Three of Cups. For Sag, please. Why is the Three of Cups here for Sagittarius? Justice. Very nice. More Libra energy with the Queen of Swords and Justice. That's double Libra here. You could be dealing with Libra or have strong Libra elsewhere in your chart. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is a repair. It's a repair of a contract, of a relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friendship or a partnership because the Three of Cups is also soul tribe. It's also bringing in balanced relationships. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Balanced, right? Six of Pentacles is that energy of give and take. It's also equal investment. It's being in a partnership with people who know how to basically give the same energy that you're investing in that dynamic, right? Very, very nice. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Some of you, this is new friendships, honestly. I don't necessarily feel it's reconciliation for everybody. Some of you are just meeting new people and you're finding that they're very much so in alignment with you. Let's look at the Queen of Swords. The world and the... Yeah, this, this queen's like, I'm no longer going to invest in things that I feel waste my time. This is kind of like I'm done with the old way of like jumping the gun and just investing in anything that shows up on my doorstep. It's kind of like, I'm going to just observe. I'm going to think about it. I really like this. I really like this very observant energy that this queen has. I'm going to do, let's look at the five of cups now. Let's see what this five of cups is about. Five of cups. Clarify about the five of cups. Validation for me as a reader that the channel message is correct. I was hesitant whether or not to clarify it too. It was just kind of funny. Okay, so let's just skip that. Let's go on to the magician. It's just releasing the things that just weren't serving you emotionally. The Magician. So we have the Empress. Very nice. It was a big stack, so I only took the one that was on top. Again, this is standing in your power. This is that Divine Feminine energy, that Queen of Swords energy. Just honoring your needs. Honoring the fact that like you feel very confident in who you are right now. And you're not going to self-sacrifice your peace just because somebody's offering you something. You're going to make sure that that offer is resonating with who you have embodied now. And you're not just going to say yes to simply people please because you know that they want to be in your life. It's more so, are you deserving to be in my life? Is this something that is healthy to me in my life and it's something that I want to welcome into my life, right? You're more so questioning it. Yeah, magician on top of the magician. <laughs> Very nice. More validation for me as a reader that the channel message is correct. Then we have the Ten of Wands. You're closing out very, very... This feels very old. Like, um, this used to weigh on you a lot. Like, this need to people please, people please, people please, and just always say yes to everything. Like, be a yes man, kind of. And you're like, no, no more. I'm going to say yes to myself. <laughs> Ten of Wands. Some of you, this might feel uncomfortable at first, but you're going to get over that. Yeah, the Seven of Wands is the Queen of Swords. Again, just kind of putting up that guard to this offer. Be sure and uh, be mindful. Be mindful not to come across as if your heart space is closed down on this because I do feel uh, kind of like a self-sabotaging behavior, like this energy of, yeah, three of cups. Like 
the truth is I don't want this, right? Ace of Swords, Three of Cups. Something about this doesn't feel honest, though. Like, I don't feel like you're actually seeing this clearly. I feel like this is more so a defense mechanism. And you think it's in your truth. But it's actually like avoiding, it, it's, it feels like conflict avoidant. And it's conflict within self. It doesn't mean that it's conflict with this person. Like this is something within you. Because it's, it's stopping you from moving forward on your path a little bit. It's not stopping. It's it's creating a pivot. It's creating a little bit of, I can't say delay because your path is your path, right? But it's it's slowing your speed that you, you had previously. Like the moon, yeah. It's creating distortion illusion. Before you were seeing really clearly. Be mindful not to get on like that spiritual high horse of I'm an empress and I know what's good for me and you must not be good for me because you are of my past and people can't change. Yeah, no. This new beginning is very stable for you. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, there's the Three of Pentacles energy here. I feel that like you're not willing to work with this person and actually working with them is going to actually help you progress on your path. Yeah, you're not being honest with yourself about how you feel about the situation. There's too much thought going on. There's a lot of swords. There's not a lot of cups. You're only in your head about it. You're not thinking about it. And that's why the hermit's your overall energy. It wants you to take a step back and to get back into your empress, not your queen of swords, into your empress. Because this distortion, this lack of truth, it comes from the queen of swords in reverse. It's a lack of clarity. Swords rule thought. They rule thought. You think it's your truth with the ace of swords upright, but it's not because you're working from a queen of swords in reverse distorted feminine yeah high priestess by taking this time to disconnect and go hermit mode you're gonna get clarity you're gonna reconnect with your intuition and that's when you get the momentum to move forward wheel of fortune and realize that oh i do want to work with this person three of pentacles collaboration you go through the rebirth and transformation with them because you realize oh it is something i want to go back to eight of cups my u-turn card very nice i like it i like it a lot Let's see what's on the bottom. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. Yeah, you just have a very strong inner critic right now. With the Five of Swords, this is an energy of conflict, but it is my inner critic. It's like being a little too critical of yourself and your expectations of self. Sorry, I just kicked my tripod. Um, but Sag, this is what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, book it down below. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.